Hi, Dear Valley. So today I'm going to answer a question from Merrick. Merrick is curious about lunch meat sandwiches and she wants to know if they are healthy for us. And I think that's a really cool question. And so what we're going to look at first is to see some of the positives and some negatives to lunch meat. Some of the positives are that lunch meat sandwiches are typically high in protein, they're high in zinc, they're high in iron, and they're also high in vitamin B12. Now they do have some downsides. They are typically high in sodium, and we talked about foods that are high in sodium being considered to be sometimes foods. So they're foods that we're not really eating all the time. And then um, they also tend to be high in saturated fats. And both of these things have been linked to cardiovascular disease and potentially diabetes and cancer. And so there are things that you wanna be aware of when foods are regularly eaten that are high in sodium, high in saturated fats. So. Some alternatives, you could be eating peanut butter, um, you could also be eating some vegetable sandwiches. So I wanted to show you really quickly. So here is kind of a uh, sandwich, a lunch meat sandwich. And you can see um, we have some whole wheat bread, which makes that a good thing. Uh, we have some low fat dairy cheese, so that's a good thing. Um, I'm going to replace these lunch meats with some other options. So here's a nice hummus spread that you can use as a protein base and use that kind of like a condiment. There's also different flavors of it, super tasty. Uh, spinach is a higher protein vegetable that you can put on top of your sandwich if you like, inside your sandwich. I love some lettuce on my vegetable sandwiches. It gives it nice and crispiness, kind of like, um, I don't know, something that will make it crispy. And then we have green peppers, we have some tomatoes, cucumbers, pickles. These are all things I put on my sandwich. I even, I'm a huge fan of mustard. Mustard doesn't really have too many bad things going on in it. It's uh, vinegar, a little bit of oil, some uh, spices, some seasoning, mustard seed is what makes it. And then I like some pepperoncinis and some artichoke hearts all sliced up. Nice on top of a sandwich or inside a sandwich and uh, all vegetable based. You can see it pretty much covers all of the food groups except for fruit and all you'd have to do there is just add some like strawberries or apples or banana and you'd have all of the food groups balanced meal right there. So that would be my suggestion is to try to add some variety to your sandwiches, maybe have lunch meat sandwiches occasionally, just not necessarily every day. Okay Merrick, so I hope that answers your question and if anybody else has any questions, please feel free to ask. Have a great day.